All right, guys, finally, it's time for the review of the mighty MIUI 13 for the Poco X3 Pro. And the flavor that we are talking about, of course, is Xiaomi.eu. Now, I was traveling for four to five days. That's the reason probably you didn't see a lot of uploads, but we are back in action and we are starting with this wonderful update. Now, the reason we are reviewing Xiaomi.eu instead of, uh, you know, the official MIUI 13 update is because the official update does give you some issues like, uh, you know, security or safety net failing and stuff like that and xiaomi.eu fixes all of that so i installed it i am using it since the last three three to four days and i have the benchmark numbers so before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going So let's see what we have here. We have MIUI Xiaomi.eu MIUI 13. 13.0.3 is the version. That is the maintainer. Poco X3 Pro, this works on YU and Bima if you flash using TWRP. Android version, of course, is Android 12, which is a big news. This build has been released on the 4th of March, 2022. Now, as the changelog says, this is not port version based on Xiaomi.eu, this, 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 no mod no feature same like xiaomi.eu converted super.img to new dat br flashable partitions removed firmware decrypted by default no more fast boot this is flashable file and then you have the full change log this is not a fast boot version you can actually flash it through twrp so that is a good thing now let's go back to the main screen and let's talk about the big news now of course this is miui 13 with android 12 and uh, let me just show you that real quick Although this is not the stock version, this is Xiaomi.eu. This is Snapdragon 8, 62.96 gigahertz, 6 plus 2 gigabytes of RAM. This is the change that you see in MIUI 13 as well. Now the Android version, of course, is Android version 12. We've been waiting for too long for the Poco X3 Pro to get it. As you can see, the Android 12 Easter egg is there and the security update is the 1st of February 2021. The kernel, of course, in question is the Perf kernel. Now, as far as xiaomi.eu is concerned, you will notice that we do have app icon animations over here, which is a good thing. You know, the experience has been really, really nice so far. If you talk about an iterative update, that is what MIUI 13 for the Poco X3 Pro is, because this is not game changing. This is not something that will make your phone feel like brand new or look completely different and stuff like that. But you will definitely notice a difference as far as, you know, Xiaomi.eu is concerned from MIUI 12.5. So the first thing that I mentioned is you do have app icon animations. If you do go to additional settings, just like the stock version, you do have memory extension. Although at this point, at least for the Poco X3 Pro, it does look like more of a gimmick. But yes, it is present. You have stuff like gesture short shortcuts. You have partial screenshot available over here. Three finger screenshot is also available, including scrolling screenshot. So those features are present. You do have the new Android 12 one handed mode. And as you can see, it works fine. Now I'll tell you this on the stock MIUI 13 ROM for this particular device, I was having slight issues with this particular gesture. And that is the reason I decided to start using uh, Xiaomi.eu because it does get rid of a lot of problems. So once you get used to it, you should be able to, you know, get it working, the one-handed mode. So that feature is present. You do have clear speaker. Now, as far as the home screen is concerned, most of the time on Xiaomi.eu MIUI 13 for the Poco X3 Pro, it is working absolutely fine. You do see that I have enabled Google feed over here and uh, yeah, God help us. So let's go ahead and reload the feed over here and let's see how good or bad the experience actually is. Okay, so it's it's loaded. Now let's see here. So, you know, if you compare it to stock 12.5 or even Xiaomi.eu 12.5, this is an improvement. I will not call this lag free. It is still stuttering at times, but yes, the experience is better, including the app icon animations that are there. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you don't get the new MIUI 13 control center. You have the same old thing going on over here and uh, you do have some cards here and there. If you press and hold over here or you pinch in, you will be able to go to wallpaper settings. So you do have your super wallpapers because this is Xiaomi.eu and you do have the new MIUI 13 wallpapers, which in my opinion, they look pretty, pretty good. 
and the experience is very very cohesive at least in MIUI 13 when you use this particular wallpapers as you can see it looks really really beautiful on a display of Poco X3 Pro which in my opinion in terms of quality is not that great of a display right now apart from this when you go ahead and pinch you have your widgets so another sad thing over here is you're still getting the MIUI 12 or 12.5 widgets you don't really have the MIUI 13 widgets that you get in China for that matter and if you further go to the launcher settings and more Let's see what we have here. We have system launcher instead of Poco launcher. So if you were to go to the stock ROM, the stable beta that is released, you will still have Poco launcher, which in my opinion is still inferior to the system launcher that you get in China and some other region. Now you do have a ton of options over here, including the MIUI 13 exclusive options, which are available and they work absolutely fine, including the option called don't show text. And you do have global icon animations show memory status show suggestions so all these options are present and they are working absolutely fine so if you go to the multitasking menu now these are the things that i have been talking about for miui or for xiaomi or poco to go ahead and fix just look at the smoothness you see these animations if xiaomi.eu can do it i really don't know why you cannot do it on stock rom you're using the same hardware and probably the same software just a little tweaks that are done to xiaomi.eu so in the multitasking menu you do have some options as you can see over here they are working absolutely fine you have floating windows you have the available ram that is mentioned over here security scan deep clean manage apps so all the usual options that you were getting in 12.5 are still there in miui 13. Another thing is, if you actually go to special features, you now have the sidebar, which combines your video toolbox and your gaming mode, depending on the app that you're using. And the game turbo over here is updated, but not the absolute latest one. So if you actually go to the security application, this is 6.0.1. So absolutely, this is the latest one. If you actually go to game turbo, you still don't really have the you know one which looks really really fancy i've not made a video about that game turbo probably i'll make one soon but as you can see we are getting the latest game turbo you know voice changer is working as far as gaming is concerned on xiaomi.eu or mi 13 the big question is do you get 90 hertz or 90 fps no do you get 90 hertz in refresh rate options no you still get 120 and 60 hertz all the other options as it is are the same there are no major changes over here they are all present and they work absolutely fine. So, you know, no major changes as far as the settings are concerned. We did go through the wallpaper and personalization menu. It is still just exactly like it was in MIUI 12.5. So all these options were already there. You do have a couple of charging animation options available over here. You do have the pocket mode and then in the password and security menu, although this is Android 12 and MIUI 13, you do have face unlock and it works absolutely fine. The fingerprint response has been absolutely okay. So in a nutshell, if you were to ask me that MIUI 13 or specifically Xiaomi.eu, is it an improvement over MIUI 12.5 Xiaomi.eu or 12.5 as a whole enhanced edition? Definitely yes, this is absolutely a good update and they have made quite some changes, but there is a big but in here as always. The MIUI 13 experience as it was promised in China is nowhere close to what you get on the Poco X3 Pro, even the Mi 11X for that matter. You are getting MIUI 13 as a number, you are getting Android 12. If you actually go to Google Chrome or any other Android, uh, sorry, Google powered applications, for example, let's see this one here, calendar. Okay, now, as you can see, look at these colors, okay? And let's go ahead and change the wallpaper here. Let's go to maybe a green color, okay? So Monet, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you go to Google Calculator, you will see it is sometimes working and sometimes not working. So the Monet customization also is missing out here and I don't know what MIU is doing. The good thing here is it is smoother, it is slightly better, the RAM management is a little better, the heating is a little less, but what they've also done is they've sort of, you know, bogged down the performance. The UI will be smoother, but the hardcore performance that this particular device is known for, Poco X3 Pro, is somewhere, you know, lost in the limelight. Let me actually take you to gallery and show you the CPU throttle test. So as you can see, 
The CPU throttled to 89% of its max performance and the average score was 166, 671 GIPS. That is the lowest I have seen on the POCO X3 Pro on a 15 minute test. Now, if we actually go to Antutu benchmark over here, let's go ahead and have a look at this one. 572 393 this is very you know normal to what you would score on a poco x3 pro on stock rom if we actually go to geekbench over here let's go to geekbench 5 and see the single core and multi-core scores as you have seen i have placed them with game turbo so 778 single core 2635 multi-core so the antutu and the geekbench scores are pretty you know decent but the throttling is something that i'm worried about and it shows when you game you know i have played bgmi and a couple of other games it works absolutely fine in hot drops like sanok boot camp competitive gaming in the last zone, this ROM really starts to struggle, even Xiaomi.eu for that matter. So if you're a hardcore gamer, this is not for you. But if you're someone who wants to use your phone as a daily driver, including MIUI 13 and Android 12, you want the good camera clarity because camera clarity even now is an issue on custom ROMs. You can actually go ahead and use this as a daily driver. You have wide one L1 certification. You have your banking applications working absolutely fine. The charging times are good. The battery backup is pretty decent. So another thing that is added in Xiaomi.eu is if you go to the battery section over here, you do have the performance mode toggle that is available. And as you can see, the standby time is pretty decent. I've barely used the screen, but we are still at 87%. So the battery life is rock solid. The animations are good. The charging speed is good. If you're a casual gamer, blindly go for it. You will get more than 50 to 55 PS most of the time and you will not have any issues. But if you're a hardcore gamer, maybe you should consider dub fest all in all pretty happy i would not say impressed but pretty happy that they delivered mi 13 with a lot of features missing if you recollect that is what they did with 12 and 12.5 they give you a lot of features in china and advertise them as a global release but in the global market they don't really give you a lot of features so you know next up i'll probably try miui mix or any other uh, miui go plus a lot of people are saying is good so on this particular device i'll try that there is a review of the latest gladiator os that is coming and there is a review of miui 13 for the mi 11x that is coming tomorrow or day after as well let me know in the comment section what you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye